Come celebrate winter homecoming in the snowiest city in America this weekend at the Hart Center as the Holy Cross men's hockey team prepares to take on RIT in more Atlantic hockey action on both Friday and Saturday night at 7.05 p.m. This is a big weekend series for Holy Cross as they continue to strive for a playoff bye. Holy Cross enters the game in sixth place, just two points behind RIT in the league standings. The last time the Crusaders faced off against the Tigers, they went 1-0-1. Coach, last weekend we talked about how important the Bentley series was as we come down the home stretch here. Things didn't quite work out the way uh, you wanted it to happen. What happened last weekend? Friday night was a uh, was a really good game. You know, we had a 2-0 lead after one and 3-1 lead in the second, halfway through the second. Uh, they made it 3-2 before the end of the second, but we had a lead with 20 minutes left and we gave up a goal about five minutes in, and then Bentley scored with about four minutes left. And, you know, similar situation to what's been happening to us, you know, just goals late in periods and uh, just not getting it done at critical moments. And um, Bentley's a good team, and, and they obviously uh, earn their goals, but we just need to do a better job of executing at the those points in the game and I know it's a kind of a repetitive thing but it's something that we're learning to do learning how to win is a skill and, and we're trying to learn how to win at the toughest part of the season and certainly we're in every game but we have to find a way to get through it. RIT this weekend you played them twice back in November you tied them and you beat them uh, at the time they were 1-4-1 one, and one in the conference you were 3-0-3 oh, and three in the conference now they're two points ahead of you in the conference yeah. what do you have to do to get a couple wins this weekend? Well, it's going to be a it's going to be a very competitive series. They're very aggressive. They play very similar to us, and uh, they have a lot of confidence. They're playing. They're a different team now than they were back early in the year when we played them before. And and, and we're a different team. And, and I think both teams are better, but they they have a little more confidence because they've been winning. We haven't won as much, so it's going to be it's going to be really competitive. But there's a lot on the line. We have five games left in the regular season. They're two points ahead of us in the standing. They they have the last uh, first round buy spot, so we want to try to catch them and surpass them. And but we're going to have to take it one game at a time and really focus on executing our game plan and trying to play our game. We can't try to play their game. We have to play our game. We have to be disciplined, and we have to execute what we need to execute to win and and that's good play without the puck that's being tough to play against and uh being really good on specialty teams so we're uh we're excited for the weekend and and um you know hopefully we get better this weekend this weekend is also a homecoming weekend it's a pink rink game you have an alumni game yeah. also the purple pride challenge weekend sure. how important is it for you guys to not only have support in the stands but also to get some of those donations for people to the purple pride challenge they're trying to raise one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars from a thousand donors yeah no, I mean, there's a lot of different things. I mean, the, the first part of it is we want to make the Hart Center uh, the toughest venue to play in our league. We go on the road and we play at a lot of really good venues with good fan support, and we th know that when we have students here and we sell out the Hart Center, it's it's really difficult for the opponents to play here, and it certainly gives us a lot of momentum and a lot of energy in our game, and sometimes that can be the difference between winning and losing. You're in a tight game, you're at home, and your crowd gets you over the hump because they just give you that little extra burst of energy, and so we love it when the place is filled and it's packed. Um, but the fundraising piece of it, the Pro Pride Challenge, I mean, it's a big part of our it's a big part of our program, and it's something that's essential to us to uh, compete and perform at the level that we want to perform at, which is to win championships. And you know, our resources that we uh, that we have need to be supplemented by the generous donations of uh, donors and alums of the program. And and this weekend's uh, really important because. Because if we match that goal of 125,000, then we're going to have people donate 100,000 on top of that. So it's a huge part of our athletic program and having our uh, teams be able to compete. And it's obviously a huge part of our program. And we appreciate all the donors and alums that support us. Coach, good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. The game on Saturday, February 14th, will be the sixth annual Pink the Rink game. HC Fair Care will be selling t-shirts and hosting a chuck-a-puck competition with all proceeds benefiting Pink Revolution. For a reduced price ticket of only $8 to Saturday's game, be sure to purchase your tickets in advance at GoHolyCross.com tickets. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Kate Sullivan.